Hey everybody, welcome to another Fish Tech Show and today we are looking at the brand new Rhinosterkop. Um, as many of you that follow me on Facebook will know, I just recently got back from there. Um, unfortunately, we had an issue with one of the boat motors and we were down to one autonomous boat. But we still got a lot done. Uh, we got the primary areas done except for one tiny little corner that I would have really liked to get done. Um, but I will discuss that in detail a bit later. But generally, the entire dam, wherever you would want to fish, um, that is covered. Uh, keep in mind, there's a large section of the dam that is uh, just covered with weeds. You can't get in there with the trolling motor. You can't get in there with the main motor. You can't get in there with the autonomous boat. And you can't get in there with, obviously, sonar. So there's absolutely no point of even doing it. it is, it's like a big flat delta section. Everyone says, yeah, that's the main river section. No, the river section is on the north side of that. And that was that little piece that I would have really have liked to have scanned. Um, but I'll show you a little trick on how to deal with that area. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, I've basically uh, restored defaults on the unit. Uh, as you can see, I just changed the wallpaper background. I turned the alarm off. Um, and I changed some units, um, you know, uh, from miles to kilometers per hour and to kilometers and that type of thing. Um, but I do use uh, for inland waters, I use feet for, for depth. So anyway, where is Renostrokop Dam? It's up here, up near Bela Bela. A little bit to the right around there okay I'm now going to insert the chart and keep in mind this is a restore default so we're gonna to have to go through everything uh, step by step T turning on the photo overlays the whole tool, uh, story um, just say yes to whatever comes up first don't don't worry about what comes up first just say yes you'll see where a nostril crop pop up try and get it in the center of your screen Get it to around about there and what I, at this point I'm going to suggest we start with Renostrokop Dam. Then we go back, we're going to go to chart options, photo overlay to full. And what you see there is the color isobaths disappear. If you want the isobaths you just simply put them there. And uh, if you want to see the uh, satellites in the background you just make it full. If you want to do depth shading, you guys know how to do that. You'll go to uh, land only, you go back, you go to your categories, and under here, you'll select your depth areas that you turn on and off. I'm not going to do that now, okay? For all means and purposes, uh, this we want to use on full. Um, what you've got here is you've got your one foot uh, precision contours up to 30 feet. After 30 feet, um, you've got three foot um, uh, major contour intervals um, it's a very shallow dam it's a big flat body of water so wherever you can find even the tiniest little ledge or crop or outcrop or anything like that very 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 popular and a good spot to actually have a look at um, it's also got all these photographs um, I think there's about I'm open to correction I think it's about 800 photographs all around the dam, uh, primarily just this area where the uh, side scan mosaics are, are done. At some point, we will go back into that far west area and just do that little section that we can get into there. Um, but uh, I think this, this information here will see you guys go for a long, long while. Um, as you can see, I'm using a new little drone. My last drone decided to take a dive in uh, Woodstock Dam. And uh, I'm very impressed with this new little DJI uh, Neo. What a fantastic little camera. Um, so yes, yeah, there's, there's a lot of those photographs. They're really high, high class uh, definition. There is a PDF. If you go into your storage, there is a PDF in there where you can just view the actual, actual photographs. So that's a very, very nice tool as well um, while we're here if we go to our chart options we go to land only you'll see something that really stands out let's get some of this chart detail away let's go to medium so it calms down a little bit there we go um, 
this chart detail very nice tool guys and uh, just a reminder on your initial your first primary chart option uh, uh, a menu that you get on the right hand side you've got this one here you see this one here where it says overlay never touch that never ever ever touch that if you've got a fish tech chart in there that is a disaster write your card off you've got a 50 percent chance of taking that card throwing it in the bin and boom four thousand rand you buy yourself a brand new one so please never ever turn that on ever the overlay that that we talk about is under chart options it's this one here photo overlay that's the only overlay that you turn on and then of course we use the shaded relief while we're on the shaded relief issue what you want to do here is you go to your categories and you turn your depth area off if you want to see the shaded relief you've got to do that and then you can see there's your lovely lovely shaded relief very very popular um option this um you can also turn off your lines if you want to and it looks like that but i think it looks better with the lines on there it is there okay so there that's your shaded relief you'll turn it on there you can turn it back off over there and then you're just back to your normal uh, uh 2d sonar but again if you want to now use your your colored iso baths you've got to go back to categories and go and turn them on under depth area and there they are there so just keep that in mind right let's move on to the next one the old sediment always a popular one here we're going to go back we go to chart options photo overlay full <clears throat> And there it is there um what's nice about this we've put a color uh transparency overlay on top of the old sediment chart the old department of water affairs sediment chart so you can see exactly where's the deep water where's the shallow stuff uh we've got depth values um you'll see for every 10 feet i've put major contours only and i've made them a very light color so they don't interfere with the original black um from the um, original sediment chart from the drawing so if you see there you'll see there their dart is a little bit off it's not a very accurate chart but it's a very good chart and it's got some really nice information and i'm not going to go into that that's something you guys must look around and find and you'll find some really interesting stuff but it, it really makes it easy to identify quick simple stuff like like for instance there uh, again if you want to get into that situation with a shaded relief you can go to your categories my apologies you go to photo overlay you go land only and there you can see the satellite will pop up in the background very very interesting little hump this <clears throat> Let's zoom out okay now i'm going to show you what was done with the ultra hf the biggest area by far uh, no let's no let's start with a small area up at the top here this is section one you've got these big flats up here uh, we're going to call this ultra hf east <clears throat> you can see i've used the high contrast uh, contours here so you can really highlight uh, with that nice contrasting colors if you're targeting a very specific depth range which is quite nice we go to our chart options we go to our photo overlay and we go full the colors will go away and then you are just left with these with the side scans okay we ran into two issues in this area unfortunately up here i think it was in the back here somewhere when she came out of here she picked up something on the transducer and we lost this one whole pass now strangely enough we got the depth data off it but not the side scan the depth data is fine but the but the side scan for just this one side up to this point here is unfortunately lost and one day when we go back we will obviously go and rescan that one little little piece um, but I'd rather show you that now so that when you get the chart you but you don't think there's something wrong with your unit um, the other thing that I did was this area here we just because it's just a big flat area of basically nothing um, we just crank the speed up we knew we were about down, uh, down and we knew let's just get something if we find something really interesting uh we'll go back and scan it um in, in high definition but anyway while i did that i just thought oh, let me just do it in a couple of colors just to 
add a little bit of flavor as you can see the boat was really flying around here at high speed trying to get this little full section done but like i said nothing too exciting in this area um there is one spot that i did see something that will be worthwhile but i'm not going to mention it here you guys can look for it and 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 find it but uh, anything from here uh, from from this you know the traditional color we use for the ultra hf some very very nice um, um information here always awesome stuff the other nice thing that we've got if you identify something like this here and you think oh i wonder what that looks like with the old satellite we we've turned that in there we're going to go to our categories you're going to turn your area off so you can see it take your and then we use this as a switch between these two so basically when you're using the chart you're going to flick between these two uh, which i think is is a really it, it's a high contrast reasonably low satellite which goes down to 18 feet but what you can do is you can flick between the side scan so you can see that's definitely a substantial little hump there what would that look like on the satellite you can definitely see there was something there all part of a building or something along those lines but as you guys can see we use shadow max technology on our charts and we remove the nadir region and that's why we get these incredible incredible charts so yeah a lot of things um that you, and again i've put the photographs in here uh for the entire dam so there they are there beautiful 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 uh something interesting uh, while we're here uh there was a section here where i just rotated the the drone around i took her up to about uh our maximum permissible height and I just took a couple of photographs rotating around the dam. And as you can see, it's, it really and truly is a beautiful body of water. And what a beautiful day this was to actually scan. There on the far left of your screen, you can see that, that island that everyone likes to target so much. Um, but something very interesting about that island. Get the chart, work it out. Very, very interesting. I see a lot of people are not fishing the right spot there. Um, what else have we got i think that's it people i think i've shown you everything uh sorry i didn't even show you the actual mid, mid section let's go back to that sorry uh, back to m back there chart options photo overlay full and there's your this is that very very popular little public hump um shame the poor guys that were fishing this area um <laughs> amy came blasting through there while the guys were actually fishing they must have got the fright of their lives <laughs> but uh, yeah there's some really and, and as you can see guys it's all the way out here this is a lot of information it really is awesome and that's where where the cutoff is you can see there as we just before we get to that gotwani uh river section um and that's Lib libangani hump over there awesome awesome stuff so there's a lot of if you see something's missing like that you think oh geez the guys haven't scanned it just zoom in and it'll load up through the ram and then all the information will be there again interesting thing you see something you're not sure what's going on there turn your shaded relief on uh, go to categories turn that off Use your photo overlay as a switch, go land only, and there's your satellite, your low level satellite. So yeah, that's it for, yeah, that's what we've got for Renosta Crop. That'll be the Renosta Crop 2025. Uh, it's our first mapping of, of the dam, but um, I think there's quite a bit of information there to keep you guys busy for quite some time. Just a quick note to, uh, there's a sponsor for this video. Um, it says Mtembo's Kluif Lodge. Um, Sipu Mtembo is a wonderful host. He's got a beautiful place to stay there in Peter's Kral A. Um, for you guys that don't know the dam and would like to go there and spend a couple of days or a weekend or whatever, I'll put a description and the number and everything in the video here somewhere. And uh, get hold of Sipu or Otto. He's the manager there. He's a wonderful guy. And they really look after you while they're, they're tented camps, glamping, really nice, beautiful uh, uh, ensuite showers and toilets and 
and then their flats are just amazing and they've got like an executive uh, flat with air conditioning and tv and there's a restaurant and there's a pool uh, it, it's it's a wonderful place to stay so just remember that mtembu's crew of lodge sipu mtembu get a hold of otto or sipu and i would just like to thank sipu for uh, the 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 sponsorship and uh, guys thanks for watching the video and uh, i'll see you on the next one and those of you that have never been to an crop get there get the chart go there the fish are wild i'll do another video at some point where i'll break it down more from a fishing perspective but it's a fantastic venue to go fish it really truly is thanks for watching guys